I am going to show you some very basic ways of connecting an external LED to your Arduino. Just give you an idea of how you can start extending parts out from the Arduino. Now I have an Arduino Nano here and you can use pretty much any Arduino you want to. I use the Nano because it's inexpensive and I go through a lot of these things. So I buy those for about two and a half dollars from China on eBay. Plus it's small and I like the small size of it for my little projects. And then I've got an LED and I've got several resistors here. I've got a 100 ohm resistor here, a 220 ohm resistor somewhere. Oh yeah, that's it. 220 ohm resistor and there's a 1K, there's a 10K. If you go to the Arduino website and look at their example, go to arduino.cc, then go to learning and choose tutorials. Once there, choose built-in examples and then scroll down a little bit to the basic section and choose Blink. And here they talk about the Blink program and they talk about the fact that you need an Arduino board of some kind and you need an LED and a 220 ohm resistor and they call that optional for those two things. That's because the LED is built in on most boards. You've got an LED here somewhere that will blink automatically. So you don't have to have the resistor or the external LED, but you do for my little demo here. And they also talk about the fact that you could use any of these boards. I am using the Nano, and in order to blink an LED, you would plug it into pin D13. If you're using any of these other boards, you need to check and see which pin number corresponds to the LED. So they just kind of use a generic board here, and my board is going to look different than this because I'm using the Nano. And so this is a little pictorial view, and this is a schematic view. So you'll see, if you look in that schematic, you'll see that we start out at pin 13, D13, the digital pin 13 from the Arduino, and that comes into a resistor, and that's a 220 ohm resistor, and then that goes into an LED, and the LED then goes into ground. So that's what we're going to build here and see how that all works out. So I'm going to take my little Nano here and plug it into my breadboard. And I get these breadboards from China as well. And you got to be careful if you get if you get the wrong kind of cheap breadboard, your Arduino won't go into it. I suffered with that a lot where I couldn't figure out why my Arduinos wouldn't plug into these breadboards. And I discovered that there are some real cheap ones out there that just don't work. So you want to be careful about that. And I'll put a link nearby someplace uh, showing you my source for these things. They always come uh, as high quality breadboards. I never have any trouble with the ones I get from that vendor. So anyway, I plug that baby in and now it's all kind of tight. If I try to work right around in here, it's pretty tight. So what I like to do is I like to extend these pins out over into some working area over here. So if you look at the schematic again, you'll see that uh, we're coming out of pin 13 going into a resistor and they say use a 220 ohm resistor. They also say you can go up to a 1K resistor. So you can either do 220 ohms or up to 1000 ohms. Let's start with a 220 ohm resistor here. And I want to bring that out of pin 13. Now if I start in pin 13, I really don't have any place else to put the other leg. If I put the other leg in right there, it's going into pin A2, which is not good at all. So what I need to do is extend that pin 13 out somehow. So what I'm going to do is take that out of there and I'm going to use a little jumper wire and I'm going to plug that into pin 13 and then I'm going to extend it out here. Now I've got some freedom to work. So I'm going to plug my 220 ohm resistor in next to that jumper. I could plug that resistor in to this female socket. I could plug it into this one or I could plug it into this one and it still would be connected to this wire which is connected to pin 13. So I've just uh, extended pin 13. I've just basically plugged my 220 ohm resistor into pin 13. And then if you look at your schematic, the other side of that resistor goes in to the um, LED. And the LED has got polarity. So you want to be careful which side you use. And you can see here that the legs are a different length. This leg is a little shorter than this leg is. So this is the negative side of the LED, and that's the side that always goes to ground. We're going to go from the resistor into the LED, from the LED into ground. I'm going to plug the long leg into a socket next to the other side of the resistor, and I'm going to plug the short lead into ground. 
the negative lead into ground. Now, trying to get that into ground, again, it gets a little tight over here. If I plug this, if I try to get this baby going here, and then if I try to get over to the ground pin, which is way up here, it's just too hard to do. So that's another advantage of using a breadboard like this. What I'm going to do is take another jumper, and I'm going to extend ground out. So I'll plug this into the ground socket, and I'm going to plug that in over here someplace to make it more accessible. So now this entire row is ground. They're all connected. They're all the same as that ground pin right there. So now I can plug my positive side of my LED into the end of the resistor, as shown on the schematic there, and then I can plug the negative side into ground over here. Like so. Isn't that wonderful? So now we've got basically the same thing as in the picture that's above the schematic there on their web page. But we've extended out past the Arduino so we can build a circuit around this. We can put other stuff. We could put more LEDs in here. We could put buzzers. We could put push buttons. We've got room to do all sorts of stuff over here. We're trying to do it right on the Arduino. It just doesn't cut it. Let's see what happens here. If I apply power to this, what's going to happen? Now you have to start your Arduino IDE and run the Blink program. And you do that by starting up the IDE, then go to File, Examples, Basics, Blink. Once you have that, you can upload it to your Arduino by connecting the USB cable and choosing Upload. And you do that by going to Sketch, Upload. I'm going to take my USB cable and plug her in. But now you can see it's running the Blink program. It's one second on and one second off. And we've extended pin 13 where the built-in LED goes that's on pin 13 internally. And then we've extended pin 13 out into our little circuit to make our blue LED go also. Isn't that exciting? Check my other videos. We're going to get more advanced.